prices to stabilize and sales to eat up the inventory. Joining the conversation, Fred Glick, CEO of U.S. Loans Mortgage, a Philadelphia-based mortgage broker, and Patrick Newport is a U.S. economist with Global Insight. So let's start with you, Patrick. What do you think needs to happen in 2009 that's different from what's going on uh, or what happened in 2008 to really get that inventory off market? Well, I think that the Obama administration and the Fed have to address the problem of foreclosures. Uh, the problem is that it's not really clear what needs to be done. So far, everything that we've tried hasn't worked, and I don't think anyone has a good sense for what will work to keep that number from rising further. Fred, you're looking at this from the front lines. What do you think is the best action that the government can pursue into 2009? Oh, a whole bunch of things. Number one on my list is have Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac do refinances for people who are upside down, who have good credit, who can prove income and just need to save a couple hundred bucks a month that they can put back into the economy. Secondly, these tax credits for buyers of property, it's not really good because they need the money up front. I would like to see grants from the government to say, here's your down payment, we're gonna give it to you as a grant, you'll pay us back over 10, 15 years, and now you have the 10% down payment to be able to get a mortgage. So that's really important. They need to liberalize underwriting standards a little bit uh, they've gone a little crazy. They've gone a little nuts with these matrix um, items where you have to add extra because you're at 72% LTV with a 682 score. And people don't deserve to get little nickel and dimed on these mortgages and they can get a little more money and spend it back into the economy. Uh, but I think we're going to get refied out of this. I think a lot of refis are going to happen. People are going to get in. People are going to be able to buy and we're going to put the money back in the economy. That's what we're seeing right now, lots of refinancing. Diana, should the government just back out? They haven't really helped anything at this point. Should, the, the biggest issue for the housing market, though, Rebecca, is not necessarily the, the refis, but it's saving the economy itself. I mean, the biggest hindrance now to a housing recovery is the job market. When we look at unemployment figures and we look at potential buyers out there, the biggest problem is how big is unemployment going to get and how is that going to turn back on an already troubled housing market? So I think one of the best and most important things for the government to do right now is refuel the greater economy rather than just the housing market itself. Patrick, what's your projection in terms of when things turn around in 2009, or if they turn around in 2009? Well, it depends on what you're talking about. If you're talking about housing starts or home sales, I think that if financial markets continuing, continue to thaw, uh, we'll see a recovery sometime around the middle of next year. Housing prices, I think, will drop into 2010, maybe 2011. Fred? Yikes. I hope not. I don't think so. And it goes back to what I said last time I was on. There's micro markets. There's certain places that are still doing well, still doing fine. But Diane's absolutely right. It's all about the jobs. Jobs, consumer confidence, then we're rocking and rolling. And I think we'll be fine in 09. Oh, what do you think about the Fed buying up mortgages right oh, now? Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, hopefully it'll get a reaction in the mortgage-backed security market and knock down the rates. Treasuries have been coming down at 209, 208, and the mortgage rates, I'll get the mortgage rates in the morning. I'm looking at your screen and seeing 208, 209 on the 10-year, and I'm thinking, oh, good, uh, rates will drop today. The rates go up because people are buying treasuries instead of mortgage backs. We need to get the treasury to buy these mortgage backs, and they are. Get the rates down, get lower payments for everybody, and get this rocking and rolling and back. Diana, it still doesn't solve the unemployment problem, or does it? No, I mean, look, it's going to take a lot more than that. It's going to take any number of fronts. You've got to stem the foreclosures. You've got to lower the inventory. You've got to keep the economy running. You've got to, you know, stop the unemployment. It, there are just so many factors weighing on housing right now that that initial thought that, oh, everything in 2009 is going to slowly bump along the bottom. That's what we were saying in the fall is it's going to begin to recover and the builders are going to start to see recovery toward the end of 2009. It's all up in the air now. It is all up in the air because we have to see what happens to the greater economy and again the foreclosure crisis how we're going to save people who are in danger of foreclosure put those together get confidence back into market and only then will anybody dip their toe back into this housing market patrick what do you think the fed buying mortgages well it's going to bring mortgage rates down and it's going to increase refinancing it's not going to do much for the states of nevada california arizona and florida which are really the problem states which is where the uh, the, the toxic securities are concentrated because people in those states won't qualify for these loans. They don't qualify for Fannie Mae loans.
All right, Fred, last question's going to you. Where are prices going in 2009? What's the median going to be at the end of the year? Oh, gosh. Uh, I think it's pretty much going to be what it is now. So $181,000 or something yeah, like that? Yeah, somewhere in that ballpark. And again, that's a big national number. And we're back to the little micro markets. There's some places that are going to do well, some places that aren't. The other idea that's kicking around is uh, some of these jobs that uh, President-elect Obama wants to put out what maybe could go towards knocking houses down that were built that were never going to get sold and thereby reducing the inventory. So that's a help too. So it's jobs, jobs, jobs. All right, Fred, Patrick, and Diana, thanks Thank so you. much for joining us. Happy New Year. You too. Coming up next on the closing bell, are tax cuts or big spending on infrastructure?